Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, members of the board, following a request by the board to learn more about what WJCC is doing to address equity issues within WJCC, in particular the gaps, gap groups um, in student achievement, this evening we are introducing a new series on, on equity. The purpose um, this evening is really to give a big overview. We're going to define equity within WJCC and we're going to provide information for the school board and community regarding the strategies and systems we're using to support all, all students and make them successful. This is very much the beginning of a conversation which will take place on over several months and each time we will focus on a different um, area or aspect of equity. Why now? The percentage of students identified as economically disadvantaged um, is over 30% in our system. and um, There's that constant need to address the, the effects of poverty. Um, our population of English language learners is increasing yearly. Uh, I think in the last year, from this time last year to this, this year, we've increased by 56 students. Um, our, the meeting the needs of students with disabilities is becoming more complex every, every, every year and we've over 1,500 identified students with disabilities within our system. And as you, you heard from a public speaker tonight, we do have some disproportionality and discipline referrals and we want to begin to talk about that and, and means and ways that we're addressing that issue as well. So all of these things are, are here and now, and so we, we really want to start talking about some of the things that we're doing as a system to address some of these ongoing um, challenges that we have. Very quickly, let me um, define equity as we're going to define it within WJCC. Our vision says we're going to pursue excellence and champion the success of all students. And when you look at the definition of equity, basically they're, they're saying much and the same thing. We want to provide each student with what he or she needs to be successful. So really it is part of our vision as a system to address the needs of every single student within our system. The striking picture <coughs> brings it home to some extent. On the left, the students are treated equally, all provided with the same resources, and some don't get over the finish line and can't see into the future. If you look on the right, basically the students are provided with whatever they need to make them successful, and the equity has been addressed within the system. What have we done so far? In last uh, summer, in July 26, we took all our leadership team, um, about 70 leaders, down to Virginia Beach to a Region 2 Equity Through Excellence conference. We not only had the opportunity to learn about equity, but we also had the opportunity to get together in, in our own group with our own leaders and talk, look at our data and start to examine some of our equity issues. Um, just this month, I've sent out invitations to launch a superintendent's equity task force, and the purpose of that is to continue the conversation that was started in Virginia Beach and look at how we can develop our leaders and what other things we need to look at as a system to address issues of equity. And then tonight, we're launching the first of our equity through engagement series, which will go on over a period of months. And each time, we'll bring you very different information and specifically address the needs of some particular subpopulations. One key element of success for all students is excellent classroom instruction. A classroom experience where learning is differentiated, engaging, aligned with curriculum, standards, and where students are constantly uh, getting feedback on their progress leads to a very successful classroom. And that's why tonight Ms. DePaula, Senior Director of School Performance, is going to give us a, a brief overview about how we're taking steps to engage all students in every single classroom in WJCC. So this is very much big picture tonight about good instruction for all students. Ms. DePaula. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Mr. Chair, members of the board. 
Helping all students reach their potential is every WJCC teacher's ultimate goal. Students need to feel interested, involved, motivated by their learning. Studies show that engaging students in the learning process increases their attention and focus, motivates them to practice critical thinking skills, and promotes meaningful learning experiences. In order to support student achievement, we need to know what to teach, which is also known as our curriculum, and how to teach it, which is the instruction, and then how to assess what students have learned and how to fill any gaps. Solid curriculum, instruction, and assessment must also be supported by professional learning for teachers. We believe that continuous investment in our faculty will result in good classroom instruction for all students. Effective instruction begins with a well-developed curriculum, which serves as a road map for what teachers teach. WJCC curricula focuses on collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking skills, and have embedded in them technology, career connections, and resources for differentiated instruction. Curricula are aligned with Virginia's standards of learning and are living documents that are under continual review and revision. Each year, teachers and content coordinators work to review curricula, make adjustments based on new resources and input from teachers, and embed engaging activities and project-based learning opportunities. K-12 curriculum guides and unit plans provide a unit-by-unit -unit roadmap of the objectives, key terms, and resources for each unit in a course and are housed digitally for ease of access for teachers. Making connections between what students learn in class and the world around them is key to student success. Students across the division are taking part in project-based learning opportunities in all content areas. Taking advantage of a major attraction in our own backyard that inst inspires high student engagement, some of our students have taken part in designing their own mini roller coaster models. In project-based learning activities such as this one, students see how geometry and physics go into the design of the perfect loop. They research how different materials, such as steel or wood, affect the rider's experience. And they test out each design to make corrections prior to presenting the coaster to their classmates. It's projects such as the one, this one that bring to life the four C's of collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking. Many of our students visit local sites such as Jamestown Island and Colonial Williamsburg to experience firsthand how different life was in another time period. They do water analysis of the James and York rivers, and they visit local businesses to see how manufacturing is alive and well locally. Making instruction relevant to students by showing them how their learning is interconnected helps engage all students in their education. As the curriculum revision process progresses, we continue to look for ways to provide high interest, project-based learning opportunities for all learners to, to support their successes. hoping Ronnie will. Thank you, Ronnie. It's important to remember that WJCC's focus is good instruction for all students. In order to ensure that all students achieve success, teachers collaborate on a daily basis, whether it's through grade level planning sessions, use of formative data to monitor students' progress, or participation in peer observations, teachers are continually working together to support student achievement. Teachers have extensive knowledge of instructional strategies and work tirelessly to select the appropriate tool from their toolkit for each individual student. The use of manipulatives and hands-on learning tools, small group instruction, and integrating technology helps teachers meet the individual needs of the students in their classrooms. Understanding the starting point of each member of their class and how they can best help their students to navigate success is an important skill that our teachers need to have. Teachers use measures of student growth to assess where individual students are on their learning path and then apply multiple strategies to meet their needs. 
as we focus on incorporating more project-based learning activities in our classrooms. Students are working together to solve problems and finding out that learning is a process of trial and error and continuous improvement. The role of teacher is transforming to one of facilitator of learning, providing feedback to students, not only on what they're learning, but how they're doing it. In days past, the image of students quietly sitting in rows listening to a teacher is what came to mind when one thought of a classroom. WJCC students are experiencing a different construct of instruction. Problem solving through critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. Teachers build relationship with, with their students so they can personalize learning to meet their needs and they work together with students to develop individual goals and ways of achieving them. In order for our students to achieve success, it is important that we invest in our teachers every year so that they are ready to deliver quality instruction to our students. WJCC's Professional de Development Plan for Teachers is a long-range, cyclical plan that focuses on student engagement, achievement, and there are three strands. One strand of our PD cycle, which is interrelated with all the others, is uh, high student engagement strategies, assessment of and for learning, and using data to foster collaborative planning. Teachers meet as grade level or content teams to analyze data and make informed decisions about instructional strategies, flexible grouping, and acceleration within a lesson. Many of our teachers participate in peer observations and provide feedback to each other on instructional practices. WJCC's new teacher orientation focuses on curriculum, instruction, and assessment, as well as incorporating technology into lessons and how to support our English language learners and students with disabilities. This August, we held WJCC's first professional learning conference, where teachers were able to learn from their peers and focus on their theme, Dream, Do, Design, and Do. Professional learning isn't limited to classroom teachers. Division administrators also participate in professional development that supports student learning, good teaching, and professional growth. Administrators participate in leadership and learning activities in which they focus on gaining a collaborative definition of good instruction, providing feedback to teachers, and using data to improve instruction. WJCC administrators conduct collaborative observations with their peers and members of central office staff to ensure that they're speaking a common language of learning. Leadership capacity building is another important focus for our division. As a member of the School University Research Network, or CERN, at the College of William & Mary, WJCC is able to participate in CERN's Principal Academy. This professional learning community provides opportunities for administrators to learn more about their instructional role in schools and also gives experienced principals opportunities to act as mentors. The combination of professional learning for both teachers and administrators enables all those involved in student learning to have a common understanding of what high quality instruction is. Administrators and teachers annually look at data from walkthroughs to choose the year's student engagement focus, emphasizing those strategies which will have the highest impact on student achievement. Through solid curriculum, engaging instruction, and formative assessment, as well as sustained professional learning for teachers and administrators, we are providing all students with the building blocks needed to aid them on their path to success as lifelong learners. Dr. Heron? So what we tried to give you is just a quick insight into what happens in the regular classroom because that's where it's, we call it tier one instruction and that's the kind of things we're trying to embed in instruction every single day that impacts every single student in the classroom. And so it was very a high level overview of instruction, good instruction for all. Um, up on the screen in front of you, there are a series of different the areas that we want to focus in on over the next several months. So for example, early childhood, childhood interventions in Title I instructional support 
those are our systems that are very much supporting um, economically disadvantaged students. We'll have a bit specific session on English language learners and the support systems we're providing uh, for, for those students. Uh, we'll have a specific uh, session on students with disabilities and talk about the programs and support systems we have there. We we'll then shift to the non-traditional learning options and um, you can see as the list goes on. And the last one starts to focus in on disproportionality and discipline and what we're trying to do in that area. And the idea behind it is to provide the board with a very quick insight and allow some discussion each, each month and some, some feedback uh, on some of particular our, our, uh, our students and our subpopulations. So that's, that's where we're planning to go in the, the next short period of time. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them at this point in time.